Well, if you're over 35, you may remember seeing monarch butterflies as a child. Sadly, younger generations have rarely had a chance to see their beautiful wings because their numbers have declined by 90% in the last 20 years. CTV recently took a look at one local site that's trying to help them make a comeback. Marks the Monarchs. They have citizen volunteers that help mark the monarchs. Patrice Gribble Fetter wants the public's help in saving monarch butterflies. The park naturalist at Old Maryland Farm teaches adults and children about the life cycle of the insect, from caterpillar to the chrysalis stage to the day when the beautiful monarch emerges. We have a variety of milkweed stations around the farm and we show people the caterpillars, we show them the chrysalis and the butterflies and then try to get them involved in the citizen conservation projects um, such as tagging the butterflies. Do you think you can put stickers on here for me? And then after that I'm going to bring out a butterfly and you're going to go and put the sticker on the butterfly. The tiny sticker helps track the monarch and has been tested to make sure it causes no damage to the wing once the butterfly takes flight. And when we release the butterfly, we're going to say, bye butterfly, see this? This is an aster. And that is one of the butterfly's favorite foods. To increase their chances of survival, naturalists are encouraging home gardeners and businesses to grow specialty gardens that attract butterflies and other pollinators. So now that this monarch butterfly has been tagged and set free, she's now taking a rest in this tree up here because pretty soon she's going to be taking a very long journey to Mexico. Most of the butterflies um, on the um, east of the Rockies actually fly to 12 select forests in Mexico and they will overwinter there. And what's fascinating about that is they're actually overwintering and then they will start their journey back up through the United States. Second and third generations eventually make it to Canada and then return back to the U.S. where the process starts all over again. And eventually about four to five generations later they're actually making it back to the forest that their great 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 grandparents actually started out. Monarchs are not the only ones on the decline. This is the Baltimore checker spot, Maryland state butterfly, but they're even harder to spot because they're considered more rare than the monarch. Now, if you'd like to help in efforts to recover the Baltimore checker spot, you can log on to dnr2.maryland.gov slash wildlife and then look for the link to rare, threatened, and endangered species. To assist in recovery efforts for monarch butterflies, you can go to monarchwatch.org.